In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for IO2 F2 minus, and this is kind of a pain, so stick with me here. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center. That's going to be the I, the iodine, and then we'll put the oxygens and fluorine atoms around that. If you count the valence electrons here, we will end up with 34. Make sure you didn't forget this one when you count it. So we have 34 total valence electrons, and we'll put these around the atoms here. First, we complete the bonds on the central atom, the iodine, and the fluorines. So once we do that, iodine will have eight valence electrons. Then we'll complete the octets on the oxygens and the fluorines. So at this point, we've used 32 valence electrons. So we still have two more valence electrons, and we're just going to stick them on the iodine. Iodine's below period three, so it can have an expanded octet. So let's just put those right here. And this seems like a reasonable Lewis structure. Oxygens, fluorines, they all have eight valence electrons. They have to have an octet. They can't have more than eight, so they're okay. And the iodine, it has 10, but that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. The problem is, is if we look at the formal charges, we end up with each oxygen having a negative one formal charge. And the central iodine has a plus one formal charge. So these really aren't the optimal formal charges. We'd rather have these be closer to zero, or in this case, we want it to be this one minus up here to match the charge on the ion. If you need help calculating formal charges, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. So we could move these electrons here and form a double bond. That makes the formal charge here zero and also on the iodine. For the sake of symmetry, I would also move this to make a double bond here. It makes this oxygen zero. And then the iodine here is minus one. And that matches the charge on our ion up here, minus one. You could argue that it's better to have the negative formal charge on the more electronegative element here. At the same time, it feels like the symmetry would be more important. This is typically how you'll see the Lewis structure drawn for IO2F2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.